the rocking chair. And this exercise is to learn how to put your weight into your two feet on the ground and being able to adjust your body weight as you're playing. So to, it relates to body movement. So what I want you to do is to hold your cello with the left hand on your side. Okay? Just hold it like this. And you can't see my feet, but I'm going to turn back, back, back and forth on my chair like this. And each time I go forward, I'm going to use more weight into my feet. Eventually, after about 10 times, I will just naturally stand up. That position where your feet is and how you are, the angle of your body, that's exactly how I would like you to try and sit. So, first to find where your feet should be in order for you to be able to stand up. It's much easier to do it face to face, but we'll try like this. So let's try. You lift your feet and down. That's one. Each time a little bit more. You feel that your butt is going above the chair a little bit every time you go forward. Once you feel you can stand up, you feel, okay, enough. If you can stand up easily, do it a couple of more times. Now, if you can stand, don't move your feet after you stand and sit. Look at your feet. Now, try to squeeze the cello in between. So you can open your knees as much as you want, but try to keep your feet exactly the same way as when you stand up and walk. Now open your feet a little bit and you can just hang the cello into your body. Now in this position, try to feel that you have four gravitation points. Two feet and two sitting bones, your butt. You can put the weight on each side of your butt and forward on your feet. Now I want you to take the bow and put it on the D-string, middle of the bow, or a little bit close to the, what we call the balance point, so like frog. And try to feel through your head that the weight goes to the string, and from the string to the two sitting bones, and finally with moving forward to your feet. Can you feel it? And I want you also to feel the connection between the end pin on the floor your left knee and your heart, sort of like a triangle where the cello is hanging. Floor, left knee, heart. Then two feet on the ground, two sitting bones. Okay, let's do now a few open strings with all those contact points in mind. Again, I just remind you, the two feet on the ground, which is forward and backward, the two sitting bones, which is sideways, and then the connection to the, the instrument, which is floor and pin, left knee and heart. So to remind you, a down bow would be 